Hey, so I wanted to pop on here today. Um, I feel like I've not been very clear on exactly what I'm doing. I feel like I've been kind of all over the place and like, oh, I'm starting these 21 days and here it is. And um, I haven't been uploading every day. So it's been like, you know, like what the heck is she even doing? I have mascara on my finger. Do not even pay attention to it. It's bothering me too. Um, so I <clears throat> made the mistake on Friday of not filming. Um, I felt like garbage, total garbage. And I cried most of the day. And I feel like those are the days, those, not those, are the days that I should film especially. Because I, the reason I even got on here and started anything was A, to journal for myself. That's the main reason. B, was to reach anybody that struggles with Hashimoto's like I do, that wants to relate to somebody on how it affects us emotionally, uh, physically, everything. And Friday, I was really affected emotionally. I don't know what was wrong. I was just really anxious. And then I started crying. Like I was just crying all day. Um, I know it's not PMS or anything. All of that is over uh, for the month. But sometimes it's just like that. It's like that for me constantly. I'll be really happy for a while and then I'll kind of get emotional and then I'll be anxious and it happens and it's normal for people with Hashimoto's to go through that and I the reason like I said that I started this channel was to reach people that go through that um even people without Hashimoto's people with other autoimmune problems um, hypo hyperthyroid anything that struggle with the mental side of it I need to document so um I'm on day six right now of my 21 days um I've been sticking to it but I need to film every single day and upload every single day Sorry, my camera cut off. So the plan is to just upload every single day. So tomorrow will be day seven, how I'm feeling. Next day will be day eight, how I'm feeling. I wanna make sure I'm consistent. Um, I want you all to know I'm here, I'm in it, I'm doing it. So um, I figured I'd have you eat lunch with me today while I talk a little more about my ups and downs with Hashimoto's and what I've been through and how I've been feeling for almost a decade that I've been diagnosed with it. So uh, lunch today, I've got my it's like a tea. Um, I'll show you. It's propping up my phone. So I'll show you right now. It's this guy. Um, it is 90 calories per six ounces. So I'm skipping my boiled egg today to have that. I just needed something sweet and refreshing. And I should not be doing that. So that will not be happening going forward on my 21 days because I committed to eating the same thing with every meal. Now, um, boiled eggs I'm sick of. I'm sick of them. Um, but my best friend, she's like, why don't you just cook them a different way? And I'm like, that's true. I could have like fried eggs, scrambled eggs. Why don't I do that? Um, I love poached eggs on a wrap. Like, that'd be great. So I don't know why I haven't been doing that. Um, I have a wrap today too. It's just some simple um, bacon, ham, light cheese, and mustard. I'm not starving, so that's just all I'm eating right now. And it's on my low carb wrap. Um, I did go grocery shopping yesterday i want to say yeah yesterday <laughs> yesterday morning i went to grocery outlet i got a couple of fun things to try in my wraps um so i'm gonna um try some of those out i got one thing it's like these brats i'll insert the clip of them after this um they're like these brats and they are a mixture of chicken and cauliflower but they're made into like these sausages and you can cook them and each sausage is like 60 calories 70 calories it'll it'll show it in the clip but they're so, they look so good. They're, I wouldn't say they're so good. I haven't tried them yet, but I'll probably make a video of me making them and trying them and uh, reviewing them because if they're good, that's going to be like life changing because I love me a good sausage or bratwurst. Um, and I want to try that. I want to do some fun things. I don't want to be so like vain and, and morbid on here if I'm not feeling great. So I feel like on days that I'm emotionally just kind of struggling, I'll do something fun like that to cheer myself up. Um, I always like to cheer myself up on my down days. I like to just do something productive when I'm feeling down. I make myself do something productive, like a video, um, reviewing something, getting something big done at work, um, doing a workout, uh, doing something educational with my child, anything like that. Because then when I end the day, I know that I have felt emotionally kind of drained, but I got stuff done and I was still productive because that's a big step forward from who I used to be um, when I first got this diagnosis and when I was navigating through it before without being educated on it, thinking I could just ignore it, you know? So. Here's those sausages. 
I'm excited to try them. Um, I'm excited to see what they taste like. So yeah, those are the sausages. I also got some wisps, like those cheese chips, like bread, um, they're like cheese chips for people on keto, but they're breadcrumb form. And I got some really thin sliced chicken breasts. So I think I'm gonna cook some of those. I'll review those too. Um, I'm gonna air fry those with some chicken this week and put them on a wrap or on a salad that I have. So we'll see. Um, again, I'll reiterate that for breakfast, I'm having a protein shake and an egg um, or oatmeal and an egg. For lunch, I'm having my wrap and an egg. Some sort of wrap and an egg, that's it. For dinner, I'm having a protein shake and a salad or some eggs. That is what I'm having. For dessert, I can have something small um, it's like 100 calories and then in the afternoon between lunch and dinner when I'm at work I can have two 100 calorie snacks so um, I'm keeping myself true to that and I think it makes me feel better that like yes for the meals I'm eating the same exact thing but for snacks I can mix it up a little bit so I don't feel so like oh my gosh like at least my snacks I can look forward to having like a sweet or savory or popcorn or pop chips or you know what I mean like fruit or yogurt or pudding anything like that like I can I can mix it up and that makes me feel a little better I don't feel so like oh I have to do this like I feel good about it so we'll see how I'm feeling going forward um I want to make sure that like I said I'm filming every single day the good and the bad because it's not all pretty it's not all I'm feeling motivated and I'm happy there's a lot of days where I'm crying and I don't know why I'm doing this and I don't know why I'm the one who was punished and has Hashimoto's, why I can't have a great metabolism. Like, there are days where I feel like that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, Hashimoto's, I'm, I'm healed mentally. Like, it's it's not like that. And I really hope I can reach a demographic, demographic, I can't talk, of people that go through the same thing. And I wanna film when I don't look pretty all the time, when I'm not in makeup, when I'm crying, when I'm, you know, anything I'm thinking and feeling, I wanna document and I want, people to feel more normal that have this and I want to feel a little more normal myself um I've spent a lot of my life feeling like the outcast and somebody who doesn't feel the same physically somebody who doesn't think the same mentally and um some of that's due to childhood trauma some of that's due to mentally just being an overthinker having Hashimoto's being anxiety ridden because one thing people don't talk about is that with Hashimoto's comes anxiety um, with Hashimoto's comes ADHD like symptoms. I, for a long time, was talking to a therapist who said I had ADHD. She's like, you have ADHD, or a psychologist that was like, you have ADHD, that's what you have. But then when I mentioned I had Hashimoto's, even she was like, I wish you would have mentioned that because you can actually be having ADHD like symptoms because of your Hashimoto's. And that was kind of when it clicked and I was like, okay, I need to be working with my physician, like my doctor. And I took levothyroxine for a long time but it really, like my hair was falling out. Um, I used to have this beautiful thick hair and now it's pretty thin, fine, and, and it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I love myself, it's okay, but it really took a toll on my, my confidence for a long time. And I think what sucks for me, and like I don't wanna get emotional or anything, is that um, my best friend, who's like the most beautiful human being on this planet, besides my son um, and her daughters, <laughs> Um, she's going through it. I mean, she's going through some autoimmune things and um, some metabolism stuff. And like, I remember how much it sucked um, when it started for me. And I was like, damn, like, I'm never gonna be able to lose the weight and feel normal. I'm never gonna be able to have the energy that other people have. Um, and she's kind of going through some similar things. Like we were talking like a month or two ago about hair loss and she was saying like, it sucks. Like, you know, I can handle a lot of other physical things but losing hair, like, it sucks. Um, it really takes a toll on confidence and a lot of people don't talk about that like um it's hard and i feel for her because i i don't wish this on anybody so when she told me she was going through thyroid problems i just immediately was like damn like damn like um we were laughing because part of us are like you know i'm not alone like we're going through it together but i was more upset for her because I know how gut-wrenching it is to go through this and I'm not trying to be over dramatic like I don't wake up every day like dang I have Hashimoto's like most of the time I forget about it like I I have a great personality I have good friends I have good family like I have a good life it's just something that makes life a little different it like 
makes it a little harder to navigate through and it's just life is already hard so when you get hit with something like an autoimmune disorder like Hashimoto's it's like damn cool <laughs> um, but yeah I um I am excited to be on this journey today is day six so I'm gonna make sure I put day six in my bio um or in the description and then tomorrow I'll upload Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I will be uploading. Um, I don't care what I'm filming. I don't care if I'm just sitting here playing with my son, sitting there working. I'll talk about how I'm feeling. And I just wanted to hop on here today because I wanted to clarify because I feel like I'm just all over the place and I don't really have a direction I'm going. So I wanted everyone to know my direction. <laughs> These are the breadcrumbs. I'll try them this week and rate them, see how they are. These are some protein shakes I picked up. I'm also going to try these this week, and we'll see how those are, too. I'm going to rate them as well. Sorry, I had to cut off for a second. My son woke up from his nap. Um, so, I want to list a few symptoms I feel and talk about how they've um, changed a lot for me and how they really haven't changed that much for me, in a way. Um, so... The biggest one is the fatigue, the exhaustion. Um, there's times, and I beat myself up over it constantly, where I'm like, God, you're so lazy, Ashley. Like, you're so unproductive. Like, what is wrong with you? And like, Hashimoto's. <laughs> but I get exhausted, not just like, oh, I'm, I'm mentally just tired. I'm kind of tired. I get to the point where my limbs just feel heavy. Like, physically, I'm exhausted. And... Any parent out there can relate, like, um, I have a toddler, and keeping up with that beautiful boy's energy kills me. I am so exhausted. Um, I was very blessed last night. My parents gave me a break. I went and had a girls' night with my girlfriends. I'll insert a couple clips that are fun. Um, we had a fun night, um, and it was great. I have the energy for my son today. I have been playing with him. It's been great. Um, but I don't always have that. It's very rare. Very, I, the last time I spent the night away from him was six months ago for my birthday. Um, so it's rare. So the thing is, my doctor was like, when I first got tested and found out I had Hashimoto's, um, I just knew that and I didn't navigate anything. I was like, no, I'll just ignore it. I'll just eat super, like almost nothing. <laughs> that did not help. I gained like a hundred pounds and, um, I was very thin in high school. Like I was probably like 140 pounds very thin uh, for my structure. <clears throat> I am 5'6". And so when I got out of high school and I gained like 50 pounds almost overnight, I was like, oh my God, like I was miserable. Found out I had Hashimoto's and I just ignored it. Gained another like 100 pounds. Okay, and it's it's just been nuts. And um, now I'm kind of chilling at 310 to 315. That's like my weight. And I hate it. Um, I would like to get down to at least 220, 210, um, and then eventually preferably below 200 because I don't want to be like super obese forever. I don't. Um, I am just exhausted all the time. And when I went into the doctor like three years later and I was like, okay, I want to get on levothyroxine. Um, she did some tests and I thought I was diabetic. Okay, like this is why I just believe in blood work because I was like, I'm for sure diabetic. I need to cut out sugar. I need to go keto. And my doctor was like, please God, do not go keto because um, while it works for people, like people that have diabetes and stuff like that, it's great for them. For me, um, my sugar was actually, it's so low that I'm borderline hypoglycemic. So over the years as I've gone into my doctor and gotten blood work, it's still super low. So I have to incorporate fruit and some carbs, some fruit carbs in my diet, some natural sugar. Um, she definitely told me that I cannot just go eat a whole cake. Um, I can eat a banana. Um, I eat a whole banana every day for a long time. And right now I'm not because of what I'm doing, but sometimes it's one of my hundred calorie snacks. I'll have a, like a full banana. Um, cause I feel good after eating them. Um, sometimes I'll mash it up into my oatmeal or I'll put it in my protein shake. So I guess I do have a banana every day still. Um, which is good. It's good potassium. It's good for me. But that is my first symptom. It's just fatigue, exhaustion. So when she when she went over, like, my sugar is low. There's one reason. Um, also, she told me I needed to cut out four things, four major things. Gluten, dairy, soy, caffeine. I can cut out a lot of things, okay? Even the cheese I'm eating today, it's vegan, okay? I can cut out dairy. I can cut out gluten. I can cut out soy, no problem. Caffeine... <laughs> On the other hand, especially when you're a parent, like, 
it's so hard. Um, I have cut it down a lot. On the weekdays, I have either one cup of coffee or some tea, no energy drinks, nothing crazy. Um, on the weekends, I allow myself one energy drink in the morning if I really need it, but it can't be like a bang. Those things are like 300 milligrams of caffeine. It can be like a C4 that's 200 or like a, a monster, but they're sugar-free too. They're sugar-free ones, they're zero calories. Or a monster that has like 180 milligrams, 150, because I'm not gonna do 300. That makes my heart wanna pop out of my chest. Um, or sometimes I'll just do like half a scoop of pre-workout and slow sip it. So that's one um, definite big thing is energy. So I think once I lose a majority of the weight, I know I'll have more energy because I won't have all of this weight just holding me down and making my joints hurt and everything. Um, I'll be able to stop a lot more caffeine. But I've, I've lowered it down a lot. I used to drink an energy drink, a bang, every single day. And I couldn't feel anything. I was like, I don't even feel like I have energy. So I cut it down a lot. And um, that helped with my tolerance for one. And um, two, it helped me not feel so crazy. My mood swings were nuts. <laughs> So there's one, that's the fatigue. Um, number two is the weight. Um, it won't come off no matter what I do. I'm trying this 21 day thing. Hopefully a few pounds come off, but in 21 days, I would not be shocked if I only lose four pounds, three pounds. Um, now, that being said, that's moving forward. And to me, that's progress. I don't care how slow the progress is. I just want this weight off. So if it's a slow progress, fine, perfectly fine, as long as I'm moving forward. But a normal person that did this would lose like, 12 to 15 pounds in 21 days so it's definitely a lot harder to lose weight and that is very discouraging um three are the mood swings um my pms is not like a normal person's pms i get very angry i get very like and you think you really think that like you're in the right in these situations and then you come out of it and you're like oh like i was just pmsing and then I start my period and I'm crying the whole time and I'm emotional and I'm like, my life's a wreck and like, yeah, my mood swings are nuts. So it's, and it's not just during PMS and period, that's just when it's the most intense. Um, so I steadily go to therapy because I need to make sure that my headspace is clear. And if I explain something to her and she'll, sometimes she'll say like, no, you're not right. This is what's going on and this is reality. And it helps me like, okay, so I, you know, and I all, you know, if it's like between me and my parents, I'll apologize and just say like, hey, listen, I had to talk to my therapist today. I do understand your side of it or we, you know, so there's, there's the mood swings. Um, there's the hair loss. Hair loss sucks. Um, I take some vitamins that kind of help. I take liquid collagen. I do B12. I do D3. Um, and I take ashwagandha. So those help a lot. Um, they actually help with my energy too. So they're a good thing to have B12 and D3 for sure. When you have Hashimoto's, B12 and D3 is a must because I, you're deficient. Well, I'm deficient at least in both of those. Most of the time with Hashimoto's you are. Um, so there's, there's that as well, the hair loss. Um, there is the acne that comes with it. Um, I get acne like all through here, which is why I need to get tested for PCOS because I have a lot of symptoms of PCOS as well. So, um, like I said, I have a doctor's appointment in a couple weeks. I'm going to get tested. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to demand that I get tested. Um, there's some acne that comes with it. My skin's looking pretty good right now. Um, I've eliminated as much stress as I can from my life and I've been doing steady skincare. So it's looking good. She's a, she's a glowy, glowy thing right now. So I'm happy. Um, but there's that, there's anxiety, um, anxiety. I lost count, but anxiety is another one. I'm my chest will feel so tight. I will cry. I will like ask the universe, like, why me? Like, why do I always have to feel like this? Um, I just sit there and I do like little physical things. Like I'll touch my hands. Like I'll remind myself, like, this is where I am right now. I'll bring myself back to present. Um, you can look up videos. on. There's a reason, like when you touch your hands, you remind yourself of like where you are sitting, like you're in this moment. Cause when you have anxiety, typically you're either dwelling on the past or you're anxious about the future. If you're in the present, you're not anxious. And so I try to remind myself of like, I've got a roof over my head. My bills are paid. My son is healthy. He's in a daycare that's safe. He's in a home that's safe. Um, I am loved. Um, he's loved. I'm okay. I'm okay. And it, sometimes I feel like when you get anxious, it's hard to remind yourself of that. And sometimes that doesn't help it go away. Sometimes I'm just anxious for a day. And um, something we're not alone in. It's just, it happens. There is... After anxiety, there's um, ADHD symptoms. I cannot focus for the life of me. Um, when I'm at work, my coworkers, like we make it, we, we all joke about it, but it's like, I have to have my headphones in blasting some sort of music or um, playing a true crime podcast while I'm chewing gum or drinking something or 
whatever while I'm working or else I just can't focus. Like I can't, I have to have a million things going on or else I can't focus on one task. And so, um, for a long time we thought I had ADHD and then <clears throat> now I'm figuring out my thyroid before I go back to the idea of ADHD because I could very well, we have it, it runs in my family. So I could very well have that too, which like ADHD, Hashimoto's and possible PCOS, like it's a lot, but I really do think a lot of things are linked to my Hashimoto's because when I change how I'm eating and I'm really consistent on like anti-inflammatory diet, I notice a change in my mental state. Um, so I'll be going more in depth with that as my channel grows. But for now, that's those are my symptoms, my big symptoms. Um, I know there's smaller symptoms. There's uh, dry skin. Oh my God, there's, okay, there's one. Very dry skin. I literally have to slather myself in like, um, what is it called? Eczema lotion. I don't even have eczema. I just have to because I have such dry skin. So I have to be careful with that. I have to always put lotion on, a face moisturizer. I'm like putting serums, oils, moisturizer, sunscreen, whatever on because I have such dry skin. I'm drinking a ton of water. Um, so that's, that's one big thing. So that's another thing we're not alone in. But that's really it for now. I'm done with lunch. I'm gonna go play with my three-year-old because he's awake from his nap. He's calling me. And I'm gonna go have some fun with him. I'm gonna have a fun day. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I hope I cleared some things up on what I'm doing exactly. Um, another thing I wanna mention at the end of this is that a commenter on my last video mentioned that I should not reward myself with food because I mentioned that after this 21 days, I'm gonna have a cheat day and I'm gonna eat whatever I want. And she was absolutely right because I do the same thing for my three-year-old. I do not reward him with food. When he goes to the potty on the potty, he gets a sticker. If he has a full week doing good, he gets a new toy. He doesn't get food or candy because it causes unhealthy relationships with food later on. And I never thought about that for myself. I always just thought about that for him. So at the end of this 21 days, I'm gonna take her advice. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take myself to get a pedicure or like take myself on a date night. Um, I wanna maybe, I don't know, just do anything for myself, just something for myself. Um, so we'll see about that. But I'm gonna go get to being a mom. Um, I will check back probably tomorrow. So have a good rest of your day.